Hello everyone. In this video, we have one semicircle and one quarter circle. P is the center of the quarter circle. And then these two arcs are equal. Diameter of the semicircle equals 24 units. And some of the shaded areas are asked. Okay, first step, if we extend E and B point like this, these are 45 degrees, right? Because they have same arc. Okay, and then if we extend A and E point like this, here must be 90 degrees because it's opposite the diameter. Therefore, here must be 45 degrees. Notice that we get an isosceles right triangle. Therefore, AE must be equal EB. Well, and then here, this area I'm going to call here uppercase S. If here is S, this area must be equal S, right? Because they have same code. This yellow shaded area, let's call here y and this area i'm going to call here uppercase k the sum of the shaded areas are equal s plus k plus y right okay and then if you notice that, if this area equal S plus Y, the area of this sector must be equal S plus Y. Because they are same sector. Right? Okay. And then, if you look carefully, some of the shaded areas are equal this triangle area. The area of the triangle AEB equals S plus Y plus K. That means this is the sum of the shaded areas. Okay. If you calculate this triangle area, let's draw here. Here is 24 units and this angle is 45 degrees. And then here it is 90 degrees. Let's draw a perpendicular line. The base will be divided into two equal parts. Or you can think like this. If we have a right triangle and if the base is divided into two equal parts, these parts must be equal to others. Okay, therefore, the area equals half of the base, 24, times height. Let's simplify the expression. Therefore, the area equals 144 unit square. Thanks for watching.